Now is the fun part of adding music to your iMovie. So to do that, move your cursor over to this music note icon in the middle right, and you'll see this box come up. You can choose from iMovie sound effects, such as these. You can choose from iLife sound effects, such as these. Or you can choose from your iTunes. This is where your whole iTunes library will show up. I'm going to demonstrate using this. So I want to use Birds of a Feather. Of a feather. So you click and hold. You'll see this little MP3 icon show up. And then drag it along this gray strip. You don't want to drop it when the whole green screen is showing up. You want to drop it when it's on one of these little gray strips. Once you found the place that you want to drop your music, simply let go of your cursor and it will show up here. If, for instance, however, you accidentally did this and dropped it so that the whole thing was highlighted and then you have green all around, you want to, it just makes it really hard to edit your sound so or your music. So simply right click and then select delete selection. You're going to right click on the green and select delete selection and it goes away and then just try it one more time so that you're dropping it without the green all around and drop it wherever you want. At this point you can edit your music. So the how you do that is you hover your cursor over the ends and you'll see this double ended arrow. You can move it in, you can move it out, that is cutting out the beginning part if you start from the beginning. And if you want to end cut out some of the end, you move it to the double-ended arrow and you're cutting out some of the end. At this point, you can use your cursor and when you see this little hand, it means that you can drag it around to move it wherever you want. And then when you find where you want it to go, just drop and this really is very... it can do whatever you want it to do, which is nice. If you want... I'm gonna move it over here. If it falls short, you can always add more music or more sound effects by following the same principle of clicking, holding, and dragging where you would like it to end up and letting go, just like that. Something interesting about this, because we saw in the preview earlier that it will preview what we wanted it to do, but it will also preview the sound. For instance, I'll let you hear. When I drag it, it previews about where it's going.